I just found this pretty humorous and uh, it, it's sad. It's really sad and it's really dangerous. And, and the reason it's dangerous is this guy comes on to YouTube. He's a nice guy. He's a wonderful man. I'm sure he's sincere. But he comes on here um, under the auspices that he is preaching from the Word of God. And those of us in the church need to hear these messages. And, you know, more importantly, the people in the world need to hear these messages. Um, because, you know, if you're not saved, you need to get saved. And then he says stuff like this, which is like utterly preposterous. There's no way this man could possibly know this. So all I'm saying here is that I believe that normal's not going to be like that, like it was back in the 80s or 90s. You're not going to be able to, if you go to a ballpark and there's just this sold out stadium, nobody wearing masks and not a care in the world, that's not going to happen ever again. I don't believe so. I don't believe you're going to ha you're going to have these situations where, you know, there's a, a summer festival, and people are going about and doing their thing with with absolutely no inhibitions, like before. <laughs> oh my goodness! So th does this have the feel? Does anybody remember Y2K and the big scare, and how people were saying this kind of along these lines? That Y two K, you know, when the when the when the clock turns from ninety nine to two thousand, all of our computer systems and all of our, in fact, all of the, many of our, um, com, uh, you know, sensors that that exists out there in the world in like huge utility plants and water plants, they're all going to fail, or many of them are going to fail, and we're we're going to be thrown back into the dark ages, and there's not we cannot possibly fix it. It's just going to be a, uh, we, we just, we're done. We're done. We're going to be back in the dark ages, and it may be decades before we're back to where we were. That's what people were, some people were honestly saying that. This has that same feel now. It's like, hey, Chooch. So first of all, to say that normal means the 80s and 90s, I mean, that's like, <laughs> so normal festivals and, and football games didn't, weren't normal two years ago? I mean, what are you talking? So it's a typical thing where you're like 50 years old and, you know, when you were a kid, things were great. Well, I really wish we could go back to those days. Yeah, because you were a kid in the 80s, all right? Probably the 70s and, and a teenager in the 80s like I was. And like, of course it was great. You were a kid. For some kids, it wasn't all that great. But, you know, we tend to look back on things in, in with fond memories and we forget about the terrorism in the 80s. We forget about the Cold War, Russia huddling under our desks to simulate a, uh, a nuclear uh, attack and what do we do in our school if it happens during the school day. Yeah, we forget about all that stuff. Oil embargoes, the Middle East exploding or imploding, depending on what day it was. The same old stuff. But of course, in the minds of these people who live only today and only in their world why this is the pinnacle of all history right now it can't be anything more anything less it must be it chooch where were you last year or two years ago getting on youtube and saying um man i wish things were back to normal like they were in the 80s and 90s but i guess they're never gonna because you know it's not the 90s anymore and men are gonna get wet worse and worse where were you then how come all of a sudden now we want to go back to the it's just utterly stupid to get on here and say that. Now, at least he's, he's qualifying his, he's qualifying what he is saying by, by saying it's what I believe. Okay, I believe this. Okay, that's cool. You're not making definitive statements, but you, you sure are putting your own reputation on the line here, and you're also putting the reputation of the truth of God's word on the line because you're using it to make your prediction. Let me say that again. You are predicting things based on your per personal interpretation of God's word. And that's very, very bad. Very dangerous. I don't care, you know, if you want to have these opinions, and I have said this a number of times, you want to have that opinion, that's cool. That's your right. You want to talk about that opinion, 
in private with other people, that's cool. That's fine. That's your right. Don't get on YouTube in public and stand on the, God, on the, on the authority of God's word like you do and say these things. You are doing nothing to help the body of Christ. You are only hurting everybody because you will be proven wrong. You, you're going to really honestly tell me that we're never going to have another stadium filled with people again. This is it. And the only reason you say that is you, you make all the assumptions of the fig tree generation thing, which is going to fail miserably. Um, and even if, I, I don't care, five years from now, we're still going to be here. And then what are you going to say then? Are you going to go back and take all your videos down? Here's what I hope you do. Make a video a year from now, or two years from now, a year from now when, not if, but when the fig tree nonsense fails, and say, I was wrong, and here's why I was wrong, and I'm not going to make predictions anymore. And then two years from now, make another video where you say, now that things are back to normal with stadiums and festivals, I'm going to say, yeah, I was wrong. Here's why I was wrong. Now here is the truth. Your life is a vapor. You do not know the day of your own death. You will stand before your creator God, and you will give an account of your life. And if you are found lacking, you will suffer eternal damnation. You need the blood of Jesus Christ to wash you from your sins and make you clean, and then you will have his righteousness placed upon you, so that at that day of judgment you will be found perfect, and you will enter the kingdom of God. That is what you need to be telling the world. You do not need to be telling the world things that you do not know. You do not know the date that the world ends. The world's not going to end, by the way. You do not know the date of the man-made fantasy rapture. <laughs> and you do not know what's going to happen in America a year from now. So you need to stop using the name of God to do that. Thanks.